Okay. Nice to meet you. This is a wonderful podcast. It's a great honor um, for me. Yeah, I'm very happy, also excited, because you are one of my favorite actors. I really mean, you break my heart with one of it. You know, I pretend to be an intellectual, but sometimes my passion can help. Sorry. Very kind. Thank you very much. Yeah, really. On this festival, the main awareness topic is importance of water. Sometimes we, we forgot how uh, privileged we are that we can just open the pipe and we have water to drink. Uh, it's not so obvious in all over the world. Uh, what is your message on this? Water is, uh, is life. It's that simple. Water is the uh, survival of, of, uh, of human life, of all life, of all life, universal life. And uh, it, 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 it can be put quite simply. It, it must be implemented into uh, the global uh, educational system as a as respected as religion, as respected as science or mathematics, uh, that if we do not teach and educate the globe to water conservation, we have no survival anymore. We are at the, we are at the precipice of our extinction now. And the point is that it's, uh, it's that simple and that critical that Water, water conservation has to be implemented now as a subject as, uh, as revered and um, important as religion. It's a discussion also on our annual level and that is to privatize water source. What do you think about that? We have to strongly oppose to that. I can only speak from my life experience, but I, I've, uh, I've lived on a farm for 31 years. Mm -hmm. I, I've maintained a farm for 31 years. My farm sits on the fissure of an aquifer. Mm -hmm. So my land is the aquifer. And there's a tremendous responsibility that comes with that. And that is I've been approached by developers, I've been approached by people that wanted the land, the people that had ideas government people who had ideas about the land. Uh, I can't tell you how much information has been thrown at me because I was the owner of this land. Uh, the issue is the aquifer. And the point is that I have had to become the steward, if you will, the protector of the fissure of the aquifer that I sit on. Because if the aquifer is tampered with, I am deterring the uh, nourishment of five communities because it's known that that aquifer actually feeds water to five local communities. It's responsible for a man-made lake. So the point is that uh, often in what's called the environmental impact statements that are made by governments, they take a bunch of students and they fly over the land and they say, oh, look, there's open territory, we could put a factory there. Mm -hmm. They don't know the depth of the wells, they don't know the depth of the water table, where the aquifers sit. You have to research the infrastructure of the land that you live on in order to preserve it. This is an education that I, 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 I literally won by my own human experience of living there. But the point is that that, that really is the essence of the issue. We have to become educated as to where we are and what, what we are uh, depending on for our resources. Whether it be self-education, but, I, but I, I really say this globally, uh, our educational system now has to implement water as a subject and water conservation and all environmental preservation as a subject as important as mathematics or science. It's that simple. Because we are at that point 
uh, of extinction where without it, it, it will never be mandatory. And it must be addressed immediately. We had some brilliant people from the Slovenian government here talking today. It's a uh, global, global yeah. crisis. You are also the farmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a part-time passion of mine. Okay. You participate in several projects of humanitarian uh, issues, uh, especially in AIDS in Estonia. What is what it was about? Uh, 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 humanitarian. My humanitarian project? Mm -hmm. Many, uh, uh, many, many years ago, uh, I think it was 1999, I uh, began a documentary and, as well as a campaign uh, for the removal of landmines. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a subject that I had studied uh, for many, many years. Um, I was very, 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 very well acquainted with people that had suffered injuries uh, and complete life-changing events from uh, landmines. So I'm very well acquainted with the issue, and uh, I felt it was uh, something certainly in this region of the world that had to be dr addressed uh, dramatically. Uh, because of the incidents of so many accidents uh, that were just completely unnecessary. But you see, uh, an, an issue like this has to do with accountability, uh, government accountability, and especially military accountability. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the landmine crisis has become a cradle to the grave enterprise. Mm -hmm. and the people that lay the landmines are the very people that finally mm -hmm. should be accountable for the ones that remove them. But that, that requires a lot of money. So the, the real crisis of the landmine issue has to do with money. It's a very cheap weapon. It creates millions and millions of dollars of revenue for the weapons manufacturer. So it is a very extremely controversial subject to bring up. Uh, I learned that very early on. But it, it's uh, obviously an issue that doesn't go away. It, it uh, is, is, a, is a weapon that has horrific consequences from one to 50 years and more. We've de even discovered in the US, uh, in the United States, of uh, issues of unexploded ordnance yeah. that have been in the ground for, uh, since yeah. World War II. But even in Slovenia, we have from the first war. Yeah? An extraordinary yeah. idea. So it has to do with uh, tremendous accountability from both the government mm -hmm. and military. Uh, to be addressed. Again, unfortunately, a subject of uh, massive economic generosity. <laughs> generosity. And then um, tell me what is the secret of your son? You are like a wine, or uh, only you are better it is. The what? I'm like a good boy. <laughs> I don't know. But what is the question? The oh, what I produce? Oh, I raised on my farm. That, no, I raised. What's the secret? Yeah. Stay young. <laughs> See me beautiful Maria, but instead of beautiful Maria, see beautiful Elena. Elena? Yes. Elena? Yeah. Uh, how does it go? In the me? summer life. No, of just, your smile. just a just a thing. In the summer of our life. In the magic of love. Storms above, scattered away. Lovers dreaming in the night, dreaming of paradise. But as the distance from you grows, all that my heart ever knows hungers for your touch, beautiful Elena of my soul. Beautiful Elena of my. Oh. Okay. Voilà. Voilà. Okay.